Hi friends, many of you had requested me to solve some more problems on converting finite state machines to regular expressions. In this lecture, we will take up a finite state machine and derive the regular expression from it. For more detailed explanation, basic steps needed, the algorithm used and some simple examples you can find in module 2 lecture 3 this video of mine. I have taken the finite state machine for which you had requested. So let's apply the algorithm step by step and obtain the regular expression from this finite state machine. So first step is to remove all unreachable states from the start state. In this machine, you can see start state is A, E is reachable from A, B is reachable from the start state A, C is reachable and even D is reachable. It means all the states are reachable from the start state. Once we get all the states reachable from the start state, next step is to check whether the finite state machine has any accepting states. If it does not, then the regular expression will be equal to null. In this machine, we have C as an accepting state. So, M has accepting states. In the third step, if the start state of the machine is part of a loop, then create a new start state connected to the old start state via epsilon transition. In this transition diagram, you can see start state A is part of the loop. Hence, a new start state is created with epsilon transition. And now, the start state for this machine is F. And A is no longer the start state. So, in the fourth step of the algorithm, if there are more than one accepting state, so here we have only one, or if there is just one, but there are any transitions out of it. So you can see here, we have a transition 0 to D from C and even transition 1 to B. Then what to do? Create a new accepting state. Connect all the accepting states to it via epsilon transition and the old accepting states will no longer be the accepting states. So as per this step, C is no longer an accepting state. We create a new accepting state G and connect C with G via epsilon transition. At this point of time, if the machine has only one state, that is start state itself is an accepting state, then the machine will halt and the regular expression obtained is epsilon. Whereas we have many states in this machine. In the next step, what we have to do is we have to rip or eliminate all the intermediate states and replace their transitions by the appropriate regular expressions such a way that we must be left over with the initial state F and the final state G. So let's start it. You can start eliminating from any state. Here I have considered state D first because if you see state D has incoming transitions from other states but there is no outgoing transition from D to any other state. At that time, this 
state is called as trap state or dead state which needs to be eliminated. After eliminating state D and all its transitions, the transition diagram obtained is this. So next let's select state E to be removed. So E has a self loop to A with string 0, 0. On eliminating E, we get state A having a self loop with the string 0, 0. Let's remove state A. State A is in between F and B with the transition epsilon having a self loop for string 0, 0 followed by a compulsory 0 reaching state B. On eliminating state A, we get F to B a transition with a regular expression 0, 0 whole star followed by a 0. Let's remove state B. State B is in between F and C having multiple transitions. So before removing state B, we have to find out regular expressions for four possibilities. First one is from F to C. What is the transition and its regular expression? Then self loop for F, if any. Similarly, transition from C to F through B and self loop to C. So let us see one by one. From F to C. From F to C, if you see, you have a transition 0, 0, whole star 0 to B and a 1 going to C. So from F to C through B, we have a transition with a regular expression 0, 0, whole star 0 followed by a 1 reaching C. Next, self loop to F. There is no self loop here to F. So we don't have any transition for it. Next, coming to C to F. C to F. From C, we have a transition to B. But from B, we don't have any transition to F. So there is no transition from C to F. Next, self loop to C. Self loop to C. Is it there through B? Yes, you can see here. 1 to B, again a transition from B to C with 1. So self loop through B to C is 1, 1. Represented as 1, 1 whole star. So once we have obtained the regular expressions for all the four possibilities, then on eliminating B, we get the transition diagram as from F to C, we have 0, 0, whole star, 0, 1. No self loop to F. No transition from to C to F. And self loop for C is 1, 1. So this is a transition diagram obtained after eliminating B. On ripping state C, C in between F and G having a direct transition, we get from F to G 0, 0 whole star 0, 1 followed by a self loop of 1, 1 that is 1, 1 whole star epsilon reaching G. On eliminating C, we get this transition diagram. 
At this phase, we can see that all intermediate states other than the start state and the accepting state are ripped. Then the final regular expression obtained is 0, 0, whole star, 0, 1, 1, 1, whole star. Finally, this is the regular expression obtained or built from the given finite state machine. Thank you.